If there's one workout any endurance runner or triathlete should be doing, it's the tempo run. And there's a good reason for that because you get a lot of bang for your buck. In other words, you make big gains in relatively little time. Yeah, and the term tempo run is actually thrown around quite a lot without everyone knowing exactly what it means. So we're going to be taking you through what it is and how to do it. Yeah, this is Jordanian Olympic triathlete Lawrence Fanous. Now, we've trained a lot together over the years. And Lawrence, I hate to tell you, we're actually going to do it too. Are we? Very tight. The Tempo Run is a session that I actually use in my own training programme and you'd be hard pushed to find any runner or triathlete who doesn't use it in theirs. Well, that's actually why I've got you here, Lawrence, because I am prepping for a half marathon in just a few weeks' time, so I'd like you to push me along in my own Tempo Run. But first of all, what is a Tempo Run? To explain what Tempo Running is, we need to get a little bit sciencey for a second. Everybody has a lactate threshold, and lactate threshold represents the point at which your body starts to create too much lactic acid for it to be flushed away effectively. Anything over this point and you'll just end up slowing down. So when we talk about tempo, we're meaning a pace that is at or near to our lactate threshold. The idea of this is that running at this pace will gradually bump our threshold up. Yeah, that's right. So what is this pace and how should it feel? You should set off at a comfortably hard pace and as you get through the run it should start to bite as you get towards the end. And theoretically it's actually the maximum pace that you should be able to hold for around about an hour. But how many of us are really going to do an hour run test to find this out? So a good alternative is to work out your 10k pace and add around 10 to 20 seconds per kilometer. If you're working by heart rate, it's roughly 80 to 90% of your maximum heart rate. And on a perceived effort scale of one to 10, it's about a seven out of 10. But how are we gonna go about doing this? So now we know what a tempo run is, we need to decide on a good place to do it. Me and Mark have come down to the park today which is a great place because of the smooth surface and the relatively straight and flat roads. Yeah, but you can do a tempo run wherever you like. But from my experience, it's a session that you want to get dialed into your pace with. So you want a terrain or a route that's going to allow you to crack on without any disruptions. Yeah, in terms of the structure of session, the intervals tend to be quite long. Today, we, me and Mark are going to be doing two by 15 minutes tempo with two minutes jog recovery. Yeah, but we have built up to this. I wouldn't have been able to do this session a couple of months back. So if you are starting out, you want to go for something slightly shorter, break it down into smaller chunks, something like four by five minutes with a long recovery of about five minutes. Yeah, and as you, as you start to get fitter, you want to start to build the interval time up or even start to bring the rest intervals down. Yeah, should we crack on with this then? Yeah, I guess we should. Okay, first rep, tempo, 15 minutes. Let's go. First rep down, we're into a two minute jog recovery now. How are you finding it, mate? Yeah, really good actually. To be honest, I'm hardly breathing. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> but that is a good point. We shouldn't be killing ourselves in this session. Actually, you should be able to have a short conversation if you needed to. I'm not, but that's more down to my company. Oi. Okay, second rep. Three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, stop. Cool. Good session, mate. Thanks for pushing me along there. Yeah, no problem. It was good, actually. I really enjoyed that. All right, let's go grab our jackets and warm down. Let's do it. Well, I was actually really lucky to have Lawrence with me today, pushing me along because, well, we're quite similar on the run. But if you are running with others and your tempo zones aren't the same, don't try doing your tempo efforts together. No, it'll just defeat the object of the session and you'll be either be running far too fast or too slow and you won't be moving your lactate threshold on at all, which is the whole point of doing it in the first place. And finally, it is worth mentioning that a tempo session is quite damaging. You're running quite hard for a long duration. So you should only try and do one per week or one every couple of weeks. And then make sure you take one or two easier days of running afterwards. Now, to make sure you don't miss any more videos from GTN, you can click on the glove and subscribe. Yeah, and if you want to see more running and how specifically how to run on the track, then click down here. And if you'd like to see how to run a faster 5K with GCN's Dan Lloyd, click down here.